Hi everybody, it's I'm it's I am Hamid.com. It's Celine from I am Hamid.com because I am a real person. <laughs> um, and I'm just making one more soap today, and this one is going to be uh, called Espionage with the you know ongoing uh, spy sort of thing going on um, hopefully it will behave unlike the others but hey we can but try um done all my washing up from the other ones now so I have a nice clean space to work in again to myself which is superb right that's just the mix going in there and into the other one as well now I saw my battery was on one bar so let's hope we get all this few false starts in videos lately where the battery's just completely died on me so so that's just the milks and clays and stuff glasses are now steamed up from before. I was always walking around with them in my head. I find sometimes I go to bed with them and they're still in my head. I have almost got out of the house with my soap and glasses on my head. Fortunately we have a mirror in the hall which stops such nonsense like that. tell you a bit more about this fragrance because I remember this one. Um, the light one has silk in it too as well by the way. Um, this one is a blend of vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. It smells the divine. Um, and I think it would be really good as a uh, a men's or women's soap. I don't think it would be problematic for either. Okay. So we are going to add a 
I did a teaspoon and a half previously of the charcoal powder. I want to add a tiny bit more than that because I'm not going to do um, all of the other one in, the, in a different colour. Some of it's going to be the black. So just mix some of this in. Possibly was a bad idea. To be red. For some reason, I see espionage as red. Well, uh, I have enough mixed up here. Just see a little tiny dot or something. Push that out. Speck of charcoal now. Very red. Nice, very nice. I like that. Again, this is going to be another fragrance I haven't used before, but this one I do believe behaves okay. myself to um, two new silicon liners so now I have four of these bowls and I think they're just super good I really am like loving them yay 
Okay, guys, battery ran out. Hey, it is my day for soaping. But I took the risk and I ran and I got the other video, our battery. And guess what? The soap is actually kind of all right. Shock and amazement. Stir, and we're going to do a nice swirl. Oh, you do it on high, you can't always manage your aim <laughs> so well. So nice. One thing about the drop swirl, I would say, is always do give it a good few bangs afterwards because forcing the air from high up. Um, or sort of forcing the soap in from high up into your soap in the mould can uh, cause some air to get in there. Should make air pockets, which you don't want. Um, so that's done. Actually, I'm going to scoop that up as much as I can. All of this is. My covers are all disinfected and everything. I always wipe them off, disinfectant in between, so. Because I find if this happens, it's quite okay to use the soap. Why waste it? like a dream yay hey good things come to those who wish as they say okay so then that's just gonna go in on top and same on this side Tomorrow I have to make body butter base because I have a few orders for body butter in and I've completely run out of my own base. Don't buy the base in, I know some people might. And when I say base you might think that, but no I made it obviously completely from scratch. We're not going to be called I am handmade and then buy stuff in, I'm telling you that much, okay? Don't agree with that. 
reason I started doing this type of soaping in the first place because I believe my product is superior than whatever you can buy in. And I stand over that. But I do like to make um, uh, things in as big lots as possible. It saves time and money when you can buy it in big lots. Um, and when you can make it in big lots. Well, I say big is more enormous, obviously. We're not talking L'Oreal here or anything. So that's looking pretty good. Right. You still with us? Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe actually laugh almighty because of the experience we've had today, but I think that might be almost too liquid texture but let us have a look see oh, maybe not maybe not maybe <laughs> just a little bit of texture we're going to do that gold thing that we did in the other two anyway I do like that black and red together. It's not something I've ever done before. Now it's going to be another at least two in this range. No, sorry, four. One is going to be sort of a male version and then a female version to complement it. And then the other. Two more. Um, uh, both guy soaps, but one sort of a marine thing. Um, it's actually Jupe of a famous aftershave that I like. Um, and then the other is oh another Jupe actually. But one I've never used before. But I do make the female version of this one. The female version being pink sugar. So I bought the male version, which is nom, and my husband spent it straight out of the um, bottle and went, Oh my god, I have to have something in that. Can you make me something? Make me body butter, make me something. So I think I might, I might just have to do something for him, do you think? He is the sweetheart though, a little milky, not so little, six foot two. He was in city centre today, called for fishing for a new TV show. What they're filming. No idea what he's going to be, but apparently he's watch out for my hair, so God knows what they've done to him. He does sometimes come home looking all sorts of weird and wonderful. Get any more colour out of this. These micas are expensive, so let's try and get the best we can out of it. Well now I've got to say that was a dream soap, a dream and I'm so glad the video was uh, a 
the battery was charged. Now, where's my, 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 my skewer? Which I also washed. Okay. So yes, these are all going to look kind of the same on top. Um, but I kind of like that idea. And the reason I'm doing a double batch of this is just because I bought more fragrance oil than I did of the others. But you know what? I think that's a good idea. And who knew it at the time? Right, I think we is done. Okay, it smells so good. That smells divine. So here we go. I'm trying to get you in close. Up close shot. Uh, this is going to be called espionage. It looks like flames or something, isn't it? Very happy. That's a good end to a soap and day. Alrighty, um, uh, we'll do a cutting video of these in a couple of days. I need to do one for Berry Chocolata. I know, it's sitting out there calling to me. I'm dying to see what it's like inside. But this, this I am really happy about. This is the what I wanted. Okay, so um, I'll do videos of the next few that I make, um, whose names I can't remember. <laughs> um, oh no, the, 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 the male-female version is going to be Double Agent and Matahari. Matahari was a very famous female spy. So they will be the next, and there will be a double batch of both of those. So, okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! -ya.